Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. Jim Mills and I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 10 tutorials. So I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started. In Anime Studio, you have what are called brush styles, which allow you to change the look of the lines that you create on the workspace. Right now, if I take the freehand tool, you can see here I have a green stroke color, and let me re, uh, increase the size here, the width of the line to about 31. And if I come on the screen here and draw, you can see that's what the line looks like, and that's pretty much what you're probably used to when you're working with Anime Studio or a similar piece of software. Now, if we come over here to the style palette and click on No Brush, you can see we have access to all sorts of different brushes. As an example, let's try this one, and then click OK. Now if I draw, you can see that we are creating a different type of line based on this brush. And you can apply these strokes as you draw, or you can reapply them later on. So let me undo these two things. I'll go back here to None. And let's say I create a rectangle. I can take the Select Shape tool and select the rectangle. Now I can come up here to No Brush and I can apply it. What's cool here is you can see when I apply it, you see the effects immediately. Even more so, let's say for instance that I want to do some adjustments. So we come down here and we decide we don't want to align the brush with the curve. Well, when I do this, you can see now we get kind of a vertical looking brush as opposed to one that's going side to side and connecting to each other. You can also adjust the spacing. So let's say I want to space this out less. Well, I can decrease that percentage. If I want to space it out more, I can increase it. And as you see, as I do this, you're seeing it live on the canvas. So you know exactly what you're gonna get when you click OK. Minimize frame-to-frame -frame randomness will also help if you animate a scene out and your brush strokes are kind of moving around. So check that if you're having that issue. But from here now, with this, you could do whatever you wanted. So we have this shape here. I could take the Add Point tool. I could maybe add some more points here and there. And then I could take the Line Width tool. I could come in here and I could increase this part, decrease this part you know, whatever you want to do. And you could even add more strokes on top of this. Let's come back here. Let's select a different style. The ones up here that have the three dots, these are multi brushes. So they actually have multiple images that make up the brush. And you can see down here, we can even turn off random order if we want. Basically, it'll go in order as to how the images are set, or you can have it so it randomizes the images each time you draw, which is really neat. So we could click OK. I could come in here and I could add some more <laughs> textures to the grass if I wanted to. Not doing the best job right now, but just kind of showing you guys here what you can do. And so the bottom line is, if you are looking to create shapes that are more diverse, you may want to check out the brush styles. Additionally, you can create your own brush styles and even multi brushes if you wish. And we do have a separate video on that if you want to go into more detail with how to create your own brushes. If you'd like more information on Anime Studio, please visit the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you next time.